Scipio2 here. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're going to take a quick look and basically do an unboxing of the American Defense Manufacturing T1 mount. This one is the co-witness version. They offer several different uh, height choices, but uh, this one is the absolute co-witness for your standard AR. So you get this solid, well-built cardboard box that's sealed shut with their logo. This is the actual part number of this specific model, ADT110 STD. Quit laughing. I hear all y'all snickering out there in YouTube land. Got a Ziploc baggie with the mount, wrench, some additional mounting screws. I'll set that right here for a second. Decal, a little bent up, but decal. Some Vibratite, basically this is a uh, thread locking compound. And an instruction sheet. So if you're new to this brand and their style of mount, you've got a step-by-step -step explanation on how it works. Let's open up the baggie here. Just dump all the goods out as it were. If I don't lose these screws. Let's see, did I lose them? Nope, four of them. Basically, this mount will work on uh, your aim point micros and any optic that has a similar mounting pattern. You can see here you'll have the square centering notch and then the four mounting holes on each corner. Typically, your optic of choice will uh, include screws with some kind of a base mount or something along those lines and generally nine times out of ten they'll recommend you use those screws so that um, you don't overdrive the screws and cause any damage but um, these are pretty short and stubby they look to be about the same as the factory ones so six and one half dozen the other if you lose one or two or four I guess you're good to go also I'm sitting here noticing these are actually Torx not Allen. Yeah, so it does come with the necessary Torx wrench for those screws. But um, here you see the mount. It's got their logo etched on the side. The quick disconnect auto lock made in the USA. The reverse flag. And then again, this is their quick disconnect system. This is the lock latch. You can see their logo or name abbreviation in there for their website. Their patent number across the top for those that may be interested in that. And then design. Basically it's a 7075 uh, chunk of aluminum that's all machined out. And then it's hard coat anodized. You can see it's model number, serial number there. These are very affordable options. I've used, I don't know, three or four of them previously. I have yet to have one break, fail, or not perform up to and beyond its design. And I like their auto locking feature, and I'll uh, show you real quick how that works, basically. So you've got your quick disconnect lever, and uh, as you can see, I'm pulling on it to the point my fingers are stressed out, but uh, it doesn't come undone. However, if you depress this little button right here, it undoes a latch and then just easy peasy, it swings and undone. The lever is well machined, gives you a nice tactile feel with the ribs in it and so forth. You could go so far as to say it's ribbed for your pleasure, but I'll leave that to whatever. There's a uh, spring-loaded system in there. You can see it automatically detents. That causes it to want to separate automatically. Then when you flip it back, no need to mess with anything, just flip it back. And again, it automatically locks into place and will not come undone until you depress that lever right there. And voila. Another neat feature is their built-in adjuster. Basically what you do is you unlock it as you saw right there and then you want to depress on this side and you'll see here this section this nut basically sets into a recess in the mount itself so when you press on the other side it comes up and what you can do is by hand if I can get a good grip on this here 
you can rotate it and that will either tighten whoops, or loosen your tension setting. So before you put your mount and everything on, preset this, find your desired tension position as far as the mount and you can see it's got a pretty good chunk of metal here on both sides for that matter for gripping the rail sections. You can get a look at that and that's what really makes the lock the the clamping force so to speak you know you can tighten this down all day long but if you've only got a little itty bitty section of you know material biting the rail it's not going to give you a positive lock another feature on this mount is the crossbar is actually the exact thickness of the gaps in your uh, rail segments so when it's on the rail there is no shimmying fore and aft it's in there so you simply adjust this up flip your switch and it's on there it ain't going anywhere but um, anyway so solid mounts love them very very competitively priced and do I even need to say anything about that right there come on y'all come on Anyway, American Defense Manufacturing, if you've got a T1 or H1 or 2 or any optic system using that mounting system, the four corner screws with the square isosceles, often referred to as the micro mount system or micro mount pattern, and you're looking for mounts, give these guys a look. These products are absolutely bulletproof. I love them. Totally Scipio 2 approved. Anyway, there it is. There's what you get. And uh, again, American made, guys. American made. Appreciate y'all taking the time to watch. If you liked what you saw, by all means, hit that like button. If you'd like to keep up with all the different things we've got going on around here, subscribe. Stay tuned. In the meanwhile, everybody, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. God bless.